we ready? Xavier, are we ready? Oh. Yes. Hey. Dirty Deborah Harry here with Sugar Roller Skates and the Dirty School of Skate. And of course, it's late night here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center in Southern California. I'm here with my nephew, Xavier, who's working the camera. And we got to talking tonight and we came up with the idea. We got to talk about cornering. So this is going to be a little lesson for you in how to corner or how to turn, particularly at the rink, but this works for everywhere you skate, outdoors, no matter what, okay? Now, cornering, we're talking about turning. It's a lot about how we shift our body weight and where we place different parts of our body into the turn, okay? Now, as always, you're going to want to have your shoulders straight across, your snack area nice and tight. Your hips are going to be down, so your knees are naturally bent, chin up. All right, now if we got that, when we go into the corner, we're going to need to look. A lot of times I see people skating and it's like they want to turn, but they keep looking straight ahead and then they're like this. They do crazy stuff because they don't first look. It's sort of like when you're driving your car. You don't just drive your car and just spin the wheel and hope you get where you want to go. No, the very first thing you do when you're driving your car is you look and you're like, oh, donuts. <laughs> Let's go there. Okay, you look first at what you want. So what I need you to think about it is, is like, I'm going to look into my future. So let's say I'm just skating. I'm just skating, leaning my body weight from side to side. And I want to turn literally if I just went like this. Wherever I look, that's where I'm going to go. But you would look like a crazy person if you did that at the rink or anywhere else, actually. So. What I'm gonna need you to do is use more than your head to turn. We're also going to need to turn our shoulders. We're going to need to turn our hips or our pelvic area into the direction that you wanna go. This all has to be done with bent knees because if you don't bend your knees, it's a twist and that's not gonna work. We need to be down, shift our body weight by leaning. We're gonna turn our pelvic area and our hips and look into our future, which is generally the other side of the rink or the end of the curve or the arc, all right? Now, let's talk about edges. You need to understand edges. Come here a little bit. I'm gonna tell you a secret about edging. This is super simple. People make it really complicated, but it's not. We have inside edges and outside edges. When you're cornering, you need a left outside edge and a right inside edge. So left outside, right inside to do your corner. Tip for later, this is also the beginning of a crossover, but we're not worried about that right now. We're just thinking of cornering, all right? So when we're thinking about our edges, we're thinking about dropping our hips, shifting our body weight more over our left foot because we're making a left hand turn and our knee is going to press over the top of our boot and our baby toe. Your right skate is gonna help. It's gonna be down. It's gonna be pushing towards your left foot with the knee over the big toe. So left knee over little toe, right knee over big toe, over the top of your skates, putting a ton of weight on them so it can hold the edge. When I just said put a ton of weight on them, I mean a ton of weight. Listen, people, I see this all the time. You're skating at the rink and you're doing this thing where you're skating upright and up because for some reason you don't want to sit your body weight down. I'm telling you, if you want stable skating, the body weight needs to be down over the skate. Push over onto your left outside edge, right inside edge. Turn your pelvis and your chest and your face into the direction you want to go. So it's super simple. I'm going to try to make it look natural. I'm going to be skate, 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 skate. I'm going to be down, shift, turn. Down, shift, turn. Pelvis, upper body, face. All righty. So let me just do it one more time. So I'm skating along, minding my own business. And I'm like, oh shit, there's so-and-so. Down, turn, shift. All right down, shift your body weight, turn your pelvis and your upper body. Look where you want to go. Look, 
turn your face. I cannot impress upon you how important it is to have this whole boxed out area turn the direction you want, okay? So if I haven't said it a thousand times this time, body weight down, shift the knees towards the direction you wanna go, shift your pelvis, shift your upper body, shift your face, look where you wanna go and hold. Now, next part. You might need to gain some speed going around the corner. Here's what you need to do. You're down and you're shifting. Push out with your right inside edge. Bring it in. Push it out. Bring it in. That can help you gain speed and continue momentum as you go around the corner. So you're just going to be down. Most of your weight is on your left foot. You push your right foot out. Bring it back to center, push it out, bring it back to center, all while looking and facing the direction you wanna go. All right, that's all I got for you tonight. I hope that helps. Please let me know in the comments if it helps, doesn't help, whatever. You can ask me tons of questions. I love responding to your comments. So please ask me questions. Also give me suggestions because I'll literally just sit here and make videos all night long, all right? Thank you so much for watching and please, practice, but do not get discouraged if it doesn't come along right away. When we're trying something new in skating, it's about mechanics. So I'm teaching you all the mechanics. Then you're going to have to flow those mechanical aspects together. And then you're going to put your own style into it. Okay. So it's going to take a while. So think about the things that I've said about distributing your body weight properly and looking into the direction that you want to go. If you can get that, oh, my number one tip, for God's sakes, people, you have got to breathe. It's good for skating and life in general. You need to breathe. Too many people hold their breath when they skate. It's unnatural, people. Do not hold your breath, okay? So listen, on that note, just subscribe to my channel, please. Tell your friends about it, share it, and I will Which make tons do of I other videos. That? Look we'll at you. Everyone, this is Xavier. He's my super cute single nephew. <laughs> <laughs> super cute. Look how cute he is. Ladies. Uh, Ladies, oh my God. Wait, wait, listen to his voice. Say hello. Hello. Oh, he's got an accent. He's super cute. Okay, let me know if you want to talk to him. I'll hook you up.